Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I'm here with another long fringe modern seed beads earrings. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and also click on the bell button to be notified for my new upcoming videos. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support guys. In this way you give me signals to continue with my work. Check description for a Facebook page where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description or at the join button. Now let's start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 ounce seed beads, iris, turquoise, pink, blue and purple. Here I'm using earring findings. This is Naimu nylon thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size D. This is size 11 beading needle and these are scissors. And now I'm going to take an arm span and a half of thread and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm going to start my work with the top part of my earring and I will start it with two iris beads. I'm sliding those down leaving a small tail here that I will use later to finish my work. Okay, and now what I do is as I exit through one of those iris beads, I'm going through the other one and making something like a loop between them. And when I pull guys, they touch side to side and the holes are pointing in this direction. And I want to go through the neighbor bead again. Then I take another C bead and I go backwards through the previous bead like I did before. Again I have a loop between those beads, they touch side to side and the holes again are pointing in this direction. And again I go in the following bead. Okay, then I take another one, go backwards like this. And go again through the neighbor one. Okay, I'll show you one more time. This is the fifth bead that I'm adding in this manner. And I want to have guys nine beads in total next to each other. Okay, I'll do this off camera and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have nine beads next to each other. And what I want to do is to reinforce them because I don't like how they sit. And how I do this. I just go one more time through all of them. Okay, I'll do this up to here and I'll be back. Okay, my friends, and I just reinforced my beads by zigzagging through them. Now I'm exiting from this side and I want to take two beads and I will start the so-called brick stitch. Okay, you see those thread bridges that I have between my beads here? between them. Okay, I will use them to start the brick stitch and now I will take two beads and I will go through the second one of them which is between the second and the third bead. Okay, I'm going under this thread bridge that I have and I pull. Then I go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work. And because I go through the second thread bridge, these beads stretch and they need additional reinforcement. That is why I'm going one more time through this bead and then through the other one. Okay, now I have this. 
then I will take just one bead and I'm going under the next thread bridge guys the next one with only one bead this time only when I start a row I do this with two beads and after that I'm adding the beads one by one okay then I take another one go under the next thread bridge and backwards and the first row I started with 9 beads and here I will have 8 which means I need to add 4 more single beads this row is ready for the next row I'm doing absolutely the same thing I take two beads and I go under the second thread bridge each row of this work I will start the same way I'm taking two beads I'm going under the second thread bridge which is between the second and the third bead that I have then I go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work okay this one and after that I reinforce to make them stay nice and flat and now guys I'm doing absolutely the same thing as before I take one go under the next thread bridge go back through it another one go under the next thread bridge and here I will have with one bead less than in the previous row so I want to have seven beads which means I need to add three more seed beads Okay, now I have a, a row with seven beads. I take again two iris beads. I go here under the second thread bridge. I pull. I do absolutely the same thing. Go through the bead which is closer to the center of my work. Then go backwards through the previous one and go one more time through this bead that is on my way then I'm going to finish this adding four more beads I will show you only the first one here I will have six beads that I need three more and I'll be back and I'm ready with this row I added three more of camera and now I add two absolutely the same way I, as I showed you all the time going through the bead which is closer to the center reinforcing and now one by one I'm going to add those beads until the end okay I'll finish this row and I'll be back okay and I'm back and I have two beads here go under the second thread bridge as I did before do the familiar reinforcement and 
and after that because this row is with four beads with one bead less than the previous row I'm going to add only two beads one by one take two second thread bridge again only one here okay then again two second thread bridge here I have only two thread bridges but I'm still going through the second one counting from where I'm exiting out of okay this is what I have After that I take one seed bead, an earring finding and one seed bead and I go through this bead back in circle. Then I will reinforce this joint. okay guys now the top part of my earring is ready I will put a needle on this side I will make a knot with it and cut it okay and I have my needle here and what I want to do is go through some beads in this direction guys and now I'm going to make a loop here and I'm going twice through the loop I've made and I'm pulling then I go through some beads in this direction if it's difficult for you use your pliers okay and then I will cut this tail thread okay now I cut the tail thread it's not on my way and I could continue how I do this I go through all of those beads and I exit here where I'm going to start making my fringes okay I'll pick up a long sequence for my first fringe and I'll be back and what I took here guys are these three iris beads here plus this sequence this long sequence of beads that I'm gonna be taking all the time you will see it written on your screens it consists of two turquoise one iris one turquoise one iris three turquoise one pink two turquoise five pink one blue one pink five blue one purple one blue five purple one iris one purple five iris one pink one iris seven pink and three purple okay this is the sequence the familiar sequence that i'm gonna be taking all the time and here before it i will add a different number of iris beads in the first fringe i take three iris beads plus this sequence okay now what I want to do next is skip these three purple beads here at the end and go back here in this fringe okay now you see what shape I have here at the end and what I do next is that I'm, I will go through all of those beads in this direction.
Okay, then I'm going here backwards in my brick stitch part and you see what I have now and I went through two beads upwards because in this way I prevent here to have a gap between the fringe part and the brick stitch part. The other thing you could do is to pre-stretch your thread that you're using uh, and it is better to use nylon thread. Okay, now I'm going backwards through those beads in this direction because I want to form my next fringe. Here I will use my pliers because I've been through those beads a lot of time, if you remember. Okay, then I will take for my next fringe, the beads for my next fringe and I'll be back. Okay guys, and what I have for my next fringe are six iris beads plus the familiar sequence that I took in the first fringe. Okay, uh, if you want, you could see it from here or rewind the video and do it one more time. And the only difference is that before this I have six iris beads and here I had three iris beads. So they are increased with three in this fringe. Okay, so what I'm going to do is skip these three beads and go backwards like this and I will go through this fringe because uh, it's too long to watch me going backwards I won't show it now but I will exit here out of the next bead and I will take take the next long sequence and I'll be back. Okay guys, I take nine iris beads plus the familiar long sequence. Here, you, you see here I had three, six and now I have nine and the sequence after that is the same one. Okay, I'll go back through all of those beads, skipping these purple beads, purple beads I will go back and I will exit of the neighbor bit and I will be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and for the next fringe I think you could guess what we have. We have 12 iris beads plus the familiar sequence. And why 12? Because in the previous we had 9 and it increases until the center with 3 iris beads. So Take 12 plus the familiar sequence, then go back skipping these uh, purple beads, go back through all of those beads and exit here through the central bead to make the next fringe. Okay guys, and I'm sure you know what I have for the central fringe I'm making. These are 15 iris beads plus the familiar sequence that I'm taking all the time guys. And I will go back, I will exit from the next bead and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I did the longest fringe in my work, which is the central one. And I'm exiting out of the next seed bead. And I'm ready to make another fringe. But from now on guys, I'm not going to be showing you how I'm making the next fringes. Because we will repeat what we have here, but the other way around. So it will be... 12 beads plus, plus the familiar sequence, 9 beads plus the familiar sequence, 6 beads plus the familiar sequence, and 3 iris beads plus the familiar sequence. Okay, watch from here and repeat these 4 fringes that we have the other way around and I'll meet you here for the last step. Okay guys, and I'm here where I just did the last fringe from my work and it is absolutely the same like one like the first here, the first that I started my work with. Okay, now how I finish my work. I go here through some beads in this direction after I finish the fringe and I make a loop, go twice through the loop I've made, pull, 
go through some beads and cut this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my modern fringe seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make new tutorials, usually twice a week and you will be inspired often. You could also like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions. You could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my Facebook page that you will find below. And you might also want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button. Thank you so much for staying here with me until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.